The Bay Area has a long history of welcoming people from other countries. Many come here after escaping turmoil in their countries of origin. Well, case in point, hundreds of political prisoners are in the United States after being expelled from Nicaragua, and some are now in San Francisco. Jose Martinez spent a day with them and found out about the help that they are getting from a Bay Area woman. After years, a group of Nicaraguan political prisoners finally have a second chance at life. 222 of them were brought to the United States. Six of them are here in the Bay Area. I spent the day with them in Concord, where they are staying temporarily. Brian Cruz tells me that the night of February 8th, some jail officers from the Nicaraguan National Penitentiary System transported them to the Augusto Sandino International Airport in Managua, the capital. He thought they would torture them, but instead, they were forced to board a plane headed to Washington, D.C. Once on the air, a big revelation. They all have been exiled from Nicaragua. They had been in prison since 2018 after participating in protests against the Nicaraguan government. All were facing charges like treason and terrorism. Brian showed me on his cell phone pictures that show he was a victim of torture in prison. The U.S. Department of State confirmed that they arrived on February 9th after being granted humanitarian parole for two years with the option to apply for asylum. All because the U.S. has referred to Nicaragua's leaders President Daniel Ortega and his wife, Vice President Rosario Murillo, as the heads behind that one-party family-run dictatorship. A political position that makes Brian and the rest of the group feel welcome in the United States. They're currently receiving medical treatment thanks to the efforts of human rights organizations like UNICA, a nonprofit formed by the Nicaraguan diaspora in California. Juana Francis Puerto is a member of this organization. She's also providing her house as a temporary shelter. What they live in is very sad. The youngest, the youngest people do I had here when he be arrested, he was 15 years old. And so when they left Nicaragua, he was like, he almost 21. She moved to the Bay Area more than 30 years ago, running away from the impact of the Nicaraguan Revolution, another challenging time in the history of this country. So I help them to guiding how you surviving into the United States because it's, it's another war. Critical help because they have no other place to go. They are no longer Nicaraguan citizens after the Nicaraguan National Assembly passed a reform to the Constitution that strips the nationality of citizens convicted of treason. So these passports are just pieces of paper. That's the last uh, travel. They can go to Nicaragua. But at least they tell me these passports are their last memory of their country. We did reach out to the Nicaraguan consulate in San Francisco for comment, but we have yet to hear back.